What's going on everybody? So today's a happy day in the household for sure. So we did research on camera sliders and God, we've looked at tons of them. But we finally settled in and made a decision and pulled the trigger and purchased a great video maker or GVM slider. Now for today's video, what I'm gonna do is unbox this, give you a rundown of what comes with the kit when you purchase it, kind of go over a few of the small features and then basically what we'll do is that'll get you up to speed on what comes in the case and then after we've had an opportunity to use it and put it through its paces we'll do some test footage with it and we'll come back and give you a review video on our impressions and what we think of how it operates so let's go ahead and get it out of the box here the box is just a little bit rough from shipping but that's okay because at the end of the day gvm does a great job as far as cases go they give you a nice case Set that back to the side. Durable canvas material, nice handles, be able to pick it up and carry it with it. Dual zippers, we can undo those. Tuck this out of the way for right now and we'll flip it open. So once we open it up, the actual slider is underneath this foam pad. We'll take it out. Let it fall down there, it's all good. So we got an instruction booklet here. It actually covers all of the components and all of the features and settings that you'll need to use when you use a slider. Starting off over here, we get a battery charger. In this case here, we've got plenty of cables. So that's gonna be the extension cable. And then we've got camera shutter release cables for Sony, Olympus, Canon, Nikon, um, I believe Panasonic and Fuji's in there as well. So pretty much any camera, they've got you covered. Uh, here's our remote cable. And then down here, GVM battery. Um, this one's gonna be an F750. So this is a high capacity battery and that's super good because you're gonna want the battery time. We've got our remote. And let's see, oh, they even send you an extra belt. That is awesome right there. The fact that they'll send that with it. And then comes with an Allen wrench tool to be able to lock the head in place. So that covers all of our accessories. Let's dig into the actual slider. Take it out here. Set the case off over here to the side. And here we go. So this is going to be the actual slider, guys. It's 48 inches long. Um, you get 46 inches of travel. Now, as far as for a camera slider, no, this is not going to be 100% portable. They make smaller versions that are a little more portable. But what we were looking at was the ability to do either short runs, you know, just simple short panning shots, or we could actually do full-on long time lapses. They've got the adjustable feet on here. We can screw those down, operate on unlevel surfaces, level it up, get everything set. They've got tripod mounts on the back side here. Quarter 20 mounts. Fit just about any tripod plate. You can mount this on a tripod, set it up out in the field and use it, or just use it as a standalone. Now, the remote cable plugs into the back of the motor locks in place usb plug on the front side here we'll snap our battery in and turn the unit on and that's it we're set up we're ready to go all we've got to do is mount our camera on here now it comes with a 3 8 adapter you get this this will adapt over to any tripod head that's got a 3 8 or it's got a standard quarter 20 on it ready to go you can mount the camera directly to it or you can mount a ball head you can mount a fluid head you could mount a separate camera controller to be able to control the camera in separate directions awesome setup now the other feature that we found that was going to be appealing for us is the fact that it's got this adjustable rail in it now when you pull this adjustable rail that changes the trajectory here you can either do a straight pan back and forth or the camera will actually do a panoramic pan 
where with that rail being adjusted, it'll allow that camera to turn and pan across. And then you can also do one where it stays fixed on a center object. You place something in here, adjust the camera rail, set the camera, and it's actually gonna make a pan as it goes across and it's gonna stay locked in on that target. Now, as far as speed goes, we can do our video mode here, manual mode. We'll run the speed up to 100% and then we'll give you an idea of what it's gonna do. So at 100%, you can see we're moving pretty quick. That's gonna give you the ability to hop in, grab one of those cool pan shots, load up and take off. Now, if you really want to slow it down, we'll take it all the way down to 15%. It goes to lower than 15, but we're going to take it to 15. And you can see here, nice, slow, smooth cinematic motion. Camera motor is relatively quiet. Uh, one of the pluses that I've seen about this is the motor is super quiet, but also the frequency of the motor is outside of like normal tonal ranges for voice so you can usually isolate that sound in your post editing and remove it and you don't even hear it as quiet as it is i don't think it'd be that distracting unless you're shooting a really quiet scene guys that pretty much covers it um like i said this kit is set up you get everything you need right out of the box for a motorized slider 30 pounds is what this thing will hold. If your camera and your rig weighs more than 30 pounds, well, I feel sorry for you because that's a lot to lug around, but I could understand if you're shooting high-end production video as far as for movies and things of that nature, you may be running a bigger rig. But for most of us that are running either mirrorless cameras or DSLR, this is gonna hold everything you want plus accessories and be able to move it in a nice fluid smooth motion it gives you that adjustment feature to be able to change. Gives you all the aspects. The controller, when coupled with the shutter release cables, will allow you to set up and do a time lapse where it'll synchronize the movement with the shutter release. It'll move, release the shutter, move, release the shutter, move, release the shutter, and give you that nice, smooth, fluid time lapse. Guys, that pretty much covers all the features and stuff on the GVM slider. As far as the unboxing goes, like I said, stick with us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be coming to you with a review once we've had an opportunity to get this thing out and really put it through its paces. We'll give you some test footage with it as well as our opinion on how it performs uh, out in the field. But stick with us. Stay tuned because we're going to be coming to you with more.